All right, welcome to Reverse Sidekick 101. This is a tech breakdown for the reverse sidekick. And it's Songnam Taekwondo. This is first introduced in volume four, or Songnam Four Camouflage Belt. Uh, we're gonna break down what reverse means when it comes to kicks, and then what goes wrong when new students learn the kick. And then we're gonna give you a bunch of baby steps for a student who's never thrown a reverse sidekick before to begin their understanding of how to do the technique. So, welcome to Reverse Psychic 101. Let's get started. Uh, in Songnam Taekwondo, when it comes to hand techniques, reverse means I throw the technique with the same hand as the back leg. So, reverse punch, reverse upset knife hand, reverse out of form lock, it's reverse. On kicks, reverse means three things. I kick with my back leg, I turn the body backwards, and I land forwards, all right? So, reverse side kick means the back leg has to do a side kick, my body has to turn backwards, and I have to land forward when I'm done. If you hear the term spin kick, it's the same thing except the foot lands backwards. So, I kick with the back leg, I turn the body backwards, and I land back behind me when I'm done, okay? Today we're talking about the reverse side kick. Now, most new students are not used to turning the body backwards. So you're gonna see a lot of kids that don't turn backwards, they turn forwards. That's a weird round kick. Or you're gonna see a student spin around in circles and then kick their front leg. If you are parents watching class, you're gonna see a lot of younger kids do this. But what's so cool about the reverse kicks is that the side kick itself has a lot of power because of the muscles engaged. When you add that power to the rotating motion of the hips, the spinning makes it harder to hit your target at first. When you add that hip rotation into it, that rotating motion can add power. So now we've covered why this kick is so cool and why you really want to learn it. Let's start to break down side kick 101. Or uh, <laughs> reverse side kick 101. All right. So, number one, I am going to start with my body backwards so that students can learn that I don't turn my belly button towards the target, I turn it away. So, side kick, reverse side kick 101, it goes body backwards. Look over the shoulder, right heel, body backwards. Look over the shoulder, left heel, body backwards. This is how we're teaching. I say younger kids, but the truth is, adults who are new need the same drill to kind of learn how to do the kick. So, target number two, I'll show you again. Ready? Reverse side kick one on one. I look over my shoulder, touch the right heel, land backwards. Look over the left shoulder, left heel, body backwards, okay? So, that's progression drill number one. Progression drill number two is my right leg goes all the way back here. Now, I have to turn my shoulders all the way to here without stepping my feet. My feet have to stay here. So, for younger kids, I have to sniff my back shoulder. Then I sniff my back shoulder, and then I spin my arms and I look, but I'm not allowed to step feet, all right? So, sniff the shoulder, turn the arms, look. Once I look, I do the same chamber side kick I've always done since I first learned side kick, all right? Same drill from behind, I get my sparring stance ready. I sniff my back shoulder, then I turn my hands, then I table side kick. That is reverse side kick drill number two for new students. Now, to get it up to usable, and this takes a while, I have to make sure I'm not telegraphing. So sometimes students will want to start backwards, but then they're not learning what the reverse side kick has to teach them. So now, we're going to do this drill. My right hand is going to touch the bag so that I have to learn how to spin the kick. 
Now, move the base leg back a little bit. I'm going to go right touch, turn look, right kick. Right touch, turn look, right kick. Show you again this way. Right touch, turn look, right kick. Right touch, turn look, right kick. I'll edit that out. Edit that out. Right touch, turn look, right kick. All right. Now, the next thing we have students do is we can have them see how fast they do right punch on a first side kick, right? So these are progression drills you can use to get to where you understand the reverse psychic well enough to start building it into a weapon you can use in your sparring. All right, that is reverse psychic 101. Go practice.